Hey guys, I'm headed down to the beach right now. I'm hoping the conditions are good and uh, if we catch anything good, we'll do a catch and cook at the end of this video. Stick around. Take a look at the conditions behind me. I'm gonna be getting in right about uh, just over my shoulder there and I'm thinking they're gonna be awesome. It looks really flat and really clear in the water, good visibility, so uh, let's suit up and get out there. It's a good size one. It's a lot of meat on this upper half. The surgeon fish, look at the, the knife on the tail here. I don't know if you can see that, but they've got one on each side. And those things can do some serious damage. That's an awesome fish. This right here is a spotted eagle ray. They're pretty common in Hawaii. I'd say way more common than stingrays are. This here is a big school of opelu, which is mackerel scad. In Hawaii, we actually eat opelu, whereas in most places, they just use them as bait. I was looking in this cave, hoping like a massive fish might be swimming around in there. And then I noticed over on the right side here, some cowrie shells. Now these are pretty big cowrie shells, but unfortunately they had uh, some snails and stuff living inside them. I saw a lobster down on the bottom. And so I dove down to grab him and he didn't move when I went to grab him. It turned out it was just the exoskeleton. And when they shed their exoskeleton, it's because they actually are trying to grow. And their skeleton is near perfect. They slip out through the middle, kind of where the tail meets the body. That's enough National Geographic. Let's get back to spear fishing. All right guys, I'm gonna do the uh, catch and cook with the uh, parrot fish and the surgeon fish. I've got a new catch and cook bag here that I've started putting all my catch and cook gear in just to uh, make it easier. So I'll unload this. I gotta flay the fish real quick and let's get cooking some tacos. Bubba blade.
we are gonna do the parrotfish first. Take a look at the teeth on that thing. Pretty cool, hey? That's what they chew the uh, coral with. They actually chew that coral and then they uh, expel it as sand. So this is about a 15 and a half to 16 inch uh, parrotfish. So I've already cleaned it out. Gonna flay this one up first. And then next, we'll do the surgeon fish. I did bleed it out in the water right away after I shot it so that the uh, bloodline here, you see the bloodline, there's virtually like no blood in it. So that worked out really well just to keep it uh, nice and clean inside and keep away that fishy taste. The scales on these parrotfish are huge. Like that's one scale. And you can see them, you know, if I pull them up here, uh, they're actually kind of a headache to scale as a fish, unless you have the right tools, because they're just so big. It's crazy. So I finished the fillet off that uh, parrotfish, just took the first fillet, and it's actually a lot of meat for what I sort of need, need it for. So I've also got the surgeon fish. I'm gonna take a fillet off of each and cook that up, save the rest for later, put it on ice right away in my cooler, and uh, get to cooking. Here we go. All right, so we got our first fillet off the uh, surgeon fish, also known as a pualu. Um, you can see that's a good size fillet. That's a heavy duty fillet. I'm really pleased with that. For a reef fish, uh, these taste really good. They're neutral. Some surgeon fish don't have uh, a very good taste. It can be really fishy, uh, or they can taste sort of like uh, the limu, the seaweed and stuff that they eat. These ones, I really don't mind. I actually quite like them. I'm only gonna do one side for this one as well, and then take the rest home for dinner and, and maybe uh, lunch tomorrow. The spear wounds, that's where the, he got uh, hit there. And there's that like deadly knife that they have there. I think this is why they're called a surgeon fish. If you can see that thing, it is super sharp. So we are using some paprika, some cayenne pepper. Uh, you could totally just use like a pre-mixed taco seasoning if that's what you like. Today I'm just using a few individual spices, some salt and pepper, and some garlic powder. And then probably a lime here. This fish is looking awesome. I wanted to point out too, this is like my new favorite gadget. I was looking just for a new, you know, uh, spoon and uh, fork or spork uh, for when I'm doing my catching cooks. And I didn't even realize what I bought came as an adaptable piece. So I have a spoon, a fork, a uh, spatula, a serrated edge on the spatula. And then I can kind of slide the spoon into the spatula and it totally turns into tongs. And it's not like, 
you know, just okay. It's awesome. They work really good and uh, really pleased with this. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in, in getting these. I highly recommend it. All right, guys, this thing looks awesome. This uh, fish cooked up real nice and quick. The lemon looks like it kept it, uh, or sorry, lime rather, it looks like it kept it really moist. I needed some sort of a plate. One thing I forgot, and my cutting board is all covered in fish. So I literally went down to the water right here looking for a flat rock. And I don't know if I've ever seen a flatter rock. Like I actually thought it was like a piece of concrete or something that was like chipped off because it was so perfect. But this is actually a big piece of lava. So this is an absolutely awesome uh, little plate. I picked up some soft taco shells and how I'm gonna prepare them is really simple. Taco shells, fish, and I always have in my fridge some coleslaw. You can get it at your local deli. Uh, you can make it yourself. I just like picking up at the deli. It's like $1.50 or something for something like this. It's moist enough that you don't need to add in extra sauce and, and tons of other things. So coleslaw, fish, tacos, and let's see how it turns out. That's it guys, so how does that look? Let's, uh, let's give it a taste. Cheers guys, okay. cheers. Really good. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed the catch and cook. Stick around and uh, catch us on the next one. Subscribe and thumbs up too. Exploring the ocean, swimming with sharks, shooting big fish, hit it right on the mark. Share channel with your friends, watch the video till the end. Our passion spending time, finding different ways just to blow your mind. Are you ready? Let's go. Watch a video, inspirational, how to solve some